Hey everybody, it's Mark, Dr. Dead Wax, and it's time for another video. Today I'm going to show you some uh, truly out of this world VCLT that I got today. Uh, a, a couple months ago now, um, somebody watches my videos, but he doesn't make videos. His name, his name is Paul. He wrote me, and uh, we've had some contact through the comments just in the past. But he wrote me and he asked me for my address because he said he wanted to send me uh, something. And I said, you know, I, I'm just, it, it, you don't have to send me anything. It's just, I'm touched that you want to. And he said, well, send me your address. I'll send you something. And uh, I sent it to him. And he sent it to my U.S. address because uh, he's in the States. And it's just easy. It was easier for him. And uh, I've been sick for like six weeks. So I haven't had a chance to get down there and pick it up. But I saw that it had arrived. You can track everything online through this place and uh, today we had a bill that was due that had to be paid so I, I, I made a quick run to the states to pay the bill and to pick up our uh, mail and parcels and stuff so and, and this was in it and I, I was opening it at the place because you can't bring unopened parcels back across the border and I was literally flabbergasted and I still kind of am um, with this BCLT that I got from Paul. Um, Left-handed brewing nitro milk stout. Um, anyway, before I show it, cheers, Paul. Thank you very, very much. Um, so the first thing that uh, I got, I opened the parcel and there was this note in there and it said, uh, thanks for the great videos. Uh, I hope you enjoy these albums. Uh, it's a token of my appreciation, and it's a phenomenal token. Um, and then also look in the bubble wrap because you don't want to miss something. Uh, so one of the things, the first thing that I saw in there was this. This is a calendar. This is a 2014 calendar for the International Space Station. Um, put out by NASA and this is amazing because this year we didn't get a calendar and my wife is was kind of annoyed that we don't have a calendar on the fridge and we always have a calendar on the fridge and we just hadn't gotten around to getting one this year and we got I got this and this is just perfect um, I showed it to her earlier and she absolutely loves it and had already hung it up on the fridge so um, this is the one for this month, this is a fish they have on the space station that they use to study um, microgravity on its bones and because it's like see-through. Anyway, so th this is just phenomenal, this calendar. Uh, thank you so much. Um, also included was the thing that he didn't want me to miss out on. And this is a, um, I have to find my glasses so I can read it. This is a, it's a little medallion that says, celebrating the legacy of the space shuttle program, uh, 1981 to 2011, the space shuttle program. And it says, excellence achieved by those who believed a national commemorative. This medallion contains metal flown on the historic space shuttle mission. And uh, so this is like a little metal. So this is something that has actually been to space. Which is mind-blowing. I'm totally amazed by this. Um, I don't know if it'll focus. But uh, yeah, there it is. So this is amazing. There's something here that's been the space. And I am actually a massive space buff. <laughs> and I don't know if um, Paul had any idea of that. I don't know if I've ever talked about that, but I've always been a huge buff uh, about space. And I've always been very kind of supportive of the concept. I think it's some people say it's an incredible waste of money. I think it's a fantastic way to spend money considering the rest of the money we have we spend on war. So, and 
also in the package was this. This is an astronaut's guide to life on Earth. This is uh, Colonel Chris Hadfield's book. Chris Hadfield is a Canadian astronaut who just spent a whole bunch of time up on the space station and he was singing uh, songs on TV and stuff from space and it was kind of really connecting with kids, uh, especially at schools here in Canada. And because uh, he's a Canadian, I don't know, did I just say that? Anyway. Um, And not only is the book from Chris Hadfield, it's actually signed by Chris Hadfield. And I don't have this one yet, but this was definitely on my list. But I never expected to ever get a signed one. So, uh, again, Paul, thank you very much. And I don't know if you are quite aware of how much that means to me, but uh, this is another Canadian astronaut's book. This is uh, Roberta Bondar, Touching the Earth, and uh, this is signed by her. Um, actually, can I collect uh, books signed by Canadian authors, and this is one that I got. I couldn't meet her the day, but the person who ran the bookstore um, saved a couple of these. I actually have two of these. If you don't have this, Paul, and you would like a signed copy of this, I will happily send you my second copy. Um, so a signed book by a Canadian astronaut is actually something that I don't think you had any idea how much it would mean to me, but it definitely does. Um, so, I mean, this, this is just out of this world. And the box that I got was about this big because inside of it were two record mailers, like the super ones that fold like four times upon each other. Anyways, um, in the record mailers were these. Um, and again, I, I'm blown away. This is... Horus Silver and the Jazz Messengers Blue Note 1518. So this is a really early Blue Note recording. Um, now this is a modern reissue, but these are the Blue Note uh, Definitive 45 RPM series. These are called uh, the Music Matters Pressings. And uh, you can see it here. Music Matters. So these are one record split over two records that spin at 45 RPM. And basically, if you can't afford first pressings of Blue Note records, but you want records that sound as good, well, these are they. Thank you, Nicole. These are they. These, I, I, I have none of these in my collection. Um, they're not cheap. Uh, but... Uh, so this would be probably a, a Blue Note Lexington. Uh, this would run you, you know, easily a thousand dollars for an original Lexington, easily like three some days uh, for one that would be in the same, in similar con condition to what these are. Uh, do you want to come up? I don't think she's going to stop crying until she gets on camera. So, uh, and now she's gone. So these are phenomenal. I've heard these at friends' houses, and they are just as good as it gets. And these are reissues done right. Um, I wouldn't say that they're definitive, but they are as close to definitive. You can't tell the difference, basically. And every one that I've ever heard, I've been just... I've fallen in love with. These are available on a subscription service. Um, you get two records every six weeks. I think these run $59, $60 a piece. And they mail them out to you. And I would love a subscription to these, but I simply cannot afford them. This is not a subscription one because it doesn't have a number. Um, they sell them individually, and they're not uh, numbered, and then they sell subscriptions, and they do actually have a number on them. So this is actually a 
core silver record that I do not have at all in any form except digitally. Um, I have flax of this, and this is a great album. So, um, and they're all sealed. They have this tear-off strip. This kind of perforation here that you you just pull. Well, these are going to not stay sealed. I'm not running a museum here. These are going to be listened to. So let's open it up and uh, have a look at it. So gorgeous gate folds. Um, I don't want to crack that too much, but and uh, you know they come in these. Uh, oh, this is awesome. They come in this kind of pinkish plastic inner sleeve, and it's got the reproduction of the label, which is a Lexington. And because it says micro groove, we know that that's a mono. So, um, and these I think are on 180 or 200 gram vinyl. I could go through it on the scale, but and. Uh, just phenomenal looking vinyl and so these have this one here has two songs on each side oh, it has dead wax too uh, I've never actually looked at the dead wax on one of these so it just has production codes and things like that so and I've heard these. These are clean, uh, dead quiet um, vinyl pressings. So, so not only did Paul send me the amazing books and calendar and medallion, he sent me this as well. And that is amazing. But that's not all. <sighs> another one into something Larry Young I've never heard this record um, this has uh, Sam Rivers Grant Green and Elvin Jones on it and uh, this is a stereo one because it's a stereo up here and uh, this is a later pressing this is a uh, from the 47 West 63rd period um, again these are going to be adored so um, This is not a museum. I don't care if it the face is the value or whatever. This is Larry Young into something. And I've I've wanted this record. I mean Elvin Jones, phenomenal drummer, uh, who uh, played with Coltrane. Uh, Grant Green, I mean, is he the best jazz guitar player? Probably. Especially his stuff on Blue Note, and uh, Sam Rivers on tenor sax, and Larry Young on the organ, and I believe this is kind of moving towards free. Uh, it might be um, hard bought, but I think this is moving towards free. And amazing enough, this is this is part of subscription. This is number 226 from a limited edition. So I don't know if Paul has a subscription to these and he sent me records from a subscription. I mean, I'm a little blown away. Um, and uh, nice uh, gatefold with pictures inside. And uh, I mean, these are just the super thick, solid cardboard covers. Uh, I've really wanted this record, so I'm so happy to get it. And again, now this is a 45 stereo. And see, it says New York, USA on the label, which again is totally consistent with what the um, the original would have had on it. So, I'm so excited to have this. I just cannot wait to spin this. I've never heard this. I've Larry Young, Blue Note. God, 
I've never seen this to even have a chance to buy it in person, uh, like in any condition. And to have a 45 RPM music matters. That's not all. There's also this. And this, when I opened the package, the, the place I pick up my stuff and I saw this, I was just floored. This is Basra by Pete LaRocca. And it has Joe Henderson on tenor sax, Steve Kuhn on piano, Steve Swallow on bass, and Pete LaRocca on drums. And this is a phenomenal LP. Um, this record, in my opinion, is um, crossing that bridge between hard bop and free jazz. It, it, it has this wonderful in and out quality. This is a gem. I have a needle drop of uh, like a 70s pressing I got offline in Flack, and uh, I love the shit out of this record, and I've never seen it in my life in person. This is uh, this is one of two records I've been trying to find. Uh, the other one is uh, Judah. I can't remember what it's called, but it's kind of got this really cool kind of green cover, um, and both of them are records you never see. I've never seen this in person, uh, but this is phenomenal music. I love. I listen to this on my iPod when I'm walking all the time. I cannot believe have this to listen to at home and it's a blue note music matters there are lots of reissues of blue note but there's nothing better than music matters and so here is I'm not running a museum so these are getting opened and spun um, blue note uh, 4205 stereo pressing Basra by Pete LaRocca and this is a monster of a record um, and again this one is numbered uh, 226 as well so this I'm assuming Paul has a subscription and he sent me two records from the subscription. Thank you so much. Uh, and again, uh, this is uh, in New York, USA. So on the back, it has a recreation of the cover. So it says 47 West 61st Street, New York. And then on the record, stereo. It says uh, New York, USA on both sides. And uh, again, this is a phenomenal record. Um, total grail for me. And uh, a Music Matters Blue Note is as much of a grail in my opinion, as an OG. Um, this is... I, I cannot thank you enough, Paul. Um, I'm totally blown away by your generosity. I, you're sending me records that are obviously from your own personal subscription to these, so... I would have a subscription to these, except... <laughs> They top out uh, at about my budget for a month, and uh, I use my budget to buy and sell gear and stuff, which then I can turn into more stuff, and I buy cheaper records so I can get more records, but uh, if I bought these, I couldn't get anything else. But these are just, just absolutely stunning. And uh, I finally have some, and I cannot tell you how happy that makes me to actually have some uh, music matters. Now these are available in Canada retail, and they're a hundred bucks here, so they're just stupid expensive. Oops, sorry, that's my book. 
um, An Astronaut's Guide to Life on Earth by Chris Hadfield. A calendar. From, uh, images from the space station and this awesome metal that's been to space. Again, Paul, your generosity floors me and um, thank you very much. Have a great day, everybody. Keep the record spinning.